Okay, let's do a single defense. Let's just be casual for a bit and let's mess around. I wanna I wanna try uh obelisks and lookouts. Because I haven't I haven't done obelisks and lookouts yet. And I know there's some uh there's some dodginess about whether or not they can even target the right thing, but worth a shot all the same. Oh, please work with me on this one. I will be nothing short of uh, over the moon. Mana bank. Start with that. And please, no pl splits. Watch us get just the perfect spiral. Okay. Look out. No splits. No splitsies. Come on. Give me what I'm looking for. Alright, there's the obelisk. It's too expensive at the moment, but we don't need more. Damn it! Triple split right there. I wonder if a lookout counts next to a house. I don't think it's worth it. Okay. Damage to armor. Actually, let's grab slow but sure. Ultimately, I think this will still work out maybe. It's just not as pretty as I was hoping it would be. Okay, we're gonna save up for one lookout here, just in the meantime while we get set up. Uh, do I want to go banditry? Yeah. Okay. There we go. That should make it a lot easier for my ballistas to just shred things. Okay, Bliss has gained the slow, yeah. Well, this is already kind of weird and scuffed. I think it'll be fine, but... There's a lot more splits than I was hoping to deal with on this run. We might still be okay, but... I'm gonna see if I can force the issue too. And then probably also need to save up for that obelisk. Uh, let's see. Increases bleed damage? Probably? All the other ones are kind of okay at best. Another ballista here. I'm just gonna invest in house income first. Because it pays for itself over time, and the sooner I get on it, the faster it pays itself off. I'm actually really impressed at how effective just one lookout tower is at just turning, you know, the standard house nonsense into something kind of ridiculous. Uh, we don't really have the bleed. Night watch, lookouts gain damage against shields, blisses do de damage against armor. Buh. I don't know. Let's see what the houses do. They give you money per wave per amount of towers. Uh, so we, at wave 9, I get 9 gold per tower surrounding it. So each of these houses, these houses is worth 27. On uh, the next wave, they'll be worth 30. It's a lot of money, actually. Okay, additional slow. Additional slow. Alright. There's the obelisk. I'm not quite sure how I want to aim this obelisk, though. That is the one problem.
Okay. Oh, poisoning enemies slows them by 5% of poison gained. Well then, there's that. Obelisk is good against armor, right? Yeah. It is. What's the range on this sucker? Okay, this is a bit better. What if I just do this? Uh, what if I have multiple obelisks? And one extraordinarily powerful lookout instead? Maybe? Let's expand that a little bit. That's a lot of mana. It is a lot of mana, which is kind of the downside to it. Okay, that's a downside. It does kind of have this weird issue where it just winks off occasionally. So... I think I like this idea a little bit better just because of the obelisk's base weakness against target switching. Because the lookout can switch instantly, the obelisk not so much so. What's a level 100 mana bank like? Nothing. There's... it... it... Uh, it doesn't exist. You can't do that. You cannot level up mana banks. Kinda wish you could. That'd be interesting if you could. You know, if they ramp up over time. But that would probably make them too powerful. Oh, these guys actually did a really good job. Uh, let's see. Grab those. Let's see. Yeah, definitely going to need more mana banks if I want to do this this ridiculous idea. Because, yeah, it certainly shreds things. The only problem is the obelisks are kind of expensive. But it's not the worst idea in the world. And then we could pair it with... I mean, I could get a Tesla, but those are... I don't want to say Teslas are boring, but... I've just done enough of it. Yeah, you know what? Let's just... Let's commit hard. Even though we've got this three-lane split here, ultimately they still have to get past this roundabout, which is pretty solid. I'm really hoping I can actually get this to turn or something for a little bit of extra oomph. but I'm not betting on it. Yeah, it's volume that's going to make the obelisk the worst here. I mean, I guess I could specifically tell it to aim only at the uh, highest health targets. Yeah, let's do that instead. Whatever it has, whatever is the most. We kill that first. Alright, here's the second one. There we go. Let's see, so fill up that three with, with obelisks? Yeah, because if they're all just focus firing whatever this, uh, this is, hopefully that'll solve the target swishing issue. And yeah, then we're gonna surround this entire outer area with just ballistas focused on fast. Oh, 
Okay, I think this is working. Uh, let's see. Anything else? I'll just do extra armor damage. Hell yeah. We're just investing in the meme. I don't think that's going to actually be able to turn around. It's a bit of a shame, but also maybe it doesn't matter. Okay, so immediate problem I'm noticing, they're not all focusing on the same thing. I might want to go back to just progress. Yeah, let's just go back to progress. If I just have a gob ton of these, maybe it doesn't matter. There's Oogie. I'm honestly shocked at how effective these ballistas have become. Just by being here, doing, just shooting anything that comes by. Oh, shoot. I need more water. I should go get some water after this. I'll probably go to the bathroom. Well, they died fast. Yeah, we should mostly just invest in this lookout. Let's see, lookout needs to have progress set too. Oh shoot, I forgot to change that. Hello, Oogie. Melt for me. Oogie need to go, or need mango. I thought it was Oogie need to go, and I was like, well... I mean, at least they know. I'm not actually sure in, if investing in status effects and, and my obelisks is actually worth a damn thing. The other thing I should do is actually spread out uh, how long it takes each of these entryways to get to me. So I want to leave this short. And then we want to spread some of these out so that they're all arriving at different times. Okay, that mana issue is a bit of a problem. Yeah, I should honestly be just investing in this thing. Let's see, to look out stack, I don't know. That honestly would be on die of death to reveal, and I'm not, I'm not sure if they're around today. I'm sure they're probably hard at work, uh, you know, probably hanging out with other streamers and some other things. Have each obelisk focused on one kind of damage? Honestly, uh, except for this one, I don't think I'm going to... I Well, I think what I'm going to do is even out all of my obelisks so they just do 12 damage across the board, and that's it. Okay, so I don't I don't think I'm going to touch this lane length. But I'm going to want to expand this one, this one, and this one. Because we want to keep it a consistent stream. There we go. Yeah, this is working. I was really hoping this could get the armor damage upgrade before I level it up. I guess, yeah, we should upgrade my, my mana capacity more than anything else. There we go. Whoa, look at that. That's kind of pretty, actually. That's a fantastic map layout. It is. 
It's actually, maybe this split is a bit of a godsend in a way that I didn't immediately expect. Because normally if they all come from one entrance, they all come in this like horror crowd, which is great for AoEs. Bad if I'm doing obelisk spam. We might need to also get some bi biplanes just to shred things that are far away. Namely these damn ghosts. They're shockingly, like, these ballistas are, no joke, actually really useful. I might want to invest more into ballistas just to kind of have them exist in the back. Uh... Might watch level three. Yeah. Invest there. What do next? I don't know. Span that one. I really want to just wait for these levels. Because as soon as it gets them... I think it's good, but it just, it is such a slight snail's pace. Well, in the meantime, more obelisk. Welcome to the Hand of Nod. Okay, what do we get next? Airstrikes? Maybe. I could go for crit chance. It's not really worth going for status effects now that I'm thinking about it. Would a freeze tower help? Yes. Lifesteal though. It's fair. Lifesteal would actually be good, but I can also just build an endless amount of mana banks and not have to worry about it. Okay, there we go. Now I can upgrade these. Now this becomes silly. Expensive, but silly. Let's see. Let's just keep leveling these. Yeah, the only immediate problem with this thing is it gets prohibitively very expensive to invest in, but it's still cheaper than investing in all of these individualized uh, obelisks past a certain point. And then there's this. This might actually just be too long. I almost kind of wish there was an option that's like, alright, stop expanding the map. I don't need more space. Just let them come at me. Yeah, the one problem is these guys just take forever. Would universities plus tons of lookout save money? Yes. But it with universities, it's a little RNG dependent. Yeah, I could also try the particle cannon instead of the planes. I don't actually know which one's better. I want to say the planes are. And also planes don't use mana. I guess let's just grab anti-magic ray since we're here. Uh, I guess honestly, let's expand this one. Away from these guys, that'll slow things down. Now the plus one bonuses to the multiplier of the base. It increases the range and it increases the base damage. All right, so I should be able to put a obelisk here. I guess we'll start with those first. 
There we go. Yeah, it's uh collision collision, I guess. Yeah, it just won't let me put things behind other things. Not really a big big problem for me, but annoying all the same. I might want to just give these guys a lookout so they get bonus damage too. Oh. Well, that's going to help. Okay. We definitely do need to work on our shield damage a bit. I think what I want to do is just get all of these up to uh, 12 across the board for every stat. Because if I can do that, then that should make the obelisks reasonably strong. Maybe not even 12. Just like a little bit more. Yeah, I I think I need to give these guys an obelisk. I really wish I could actually pair an obelisk with a radar to just boost the radar's damage. Maybe, maybe not. That nah, should be good. I guess it's just kind of pricey otherwise. It's these damn ghosts, they just take forever. Okay. All towers gain damage to shields? Hell yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to start expanding this direction. Even though it comes a little... Uh, this is the one that comes the fastest. The immediate problem is that uh, those ghosts go past these guys and are slowed and that just takes forever once I invest in a radar it won't be so bad and yeah we are having some issues with volume that enough enemies can cause, uh, can just slip straight past. And that no matter how many obelisks I have, they're just not going to be able to switch fast enough for that. Radar set, set to slowest? Yeah. I might honestly do that. It'll probably just be based on health. Yeah, because there's just a couple of really slow enemies that just take forever to get here. I guess I could always sell the top obelisk and get one Tesla tower. That actually probably is the winner. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Level. Could get the university. Yeah, let's pick him up. Okay. Well, one way or another, the real answer here is ballistas on fastest. Here we go. Are obelisks working better than mortar spam? Not really, no. Uh, this, this is very much a meme build that is only going to work in very specific situations, but is otherwise too expensive uh, to be viable. And in comparison to mortars, but it is really funny. Oh boy, it did get pricey though. Ha! Come on, give me that juice. I need more. This might be the other reason reason why I'm having issues. Oh, it's because I upgraded all of my obelisks.
Because, yeah, when all things are, when all of these are firing on all cylinders, it gets uh, pricey. Mana does fill up though. Yeah, getting a bunch of mana banks is helpful for a lot of reasons. Uh, do I even give them the burn damage? No. Why? I, guess I should probably grab the scholarships just because that's actually quite useful. Okay, more mana bank. I almost kind of wish putting mana banks up high gave them the plus three bonus. Like, if, if height affected them. Does it? It probably doesn't. No. I thought for a hot second it did, and I was like, well, that's kind of incredible. Oh, no, you cannot be there. I'm so glad I can just resell things whenever I don't want them where they are. I think the next thing that I might also want to invest in is the crit chance. Because we'd probably be critting, like, endlessly? Oh. Here's the other thing. Are you guys just set to progress? Yeah. There. That way they at least have something. Here. I got it. That way these guys have something to do. Uh, well, is it time to get a radar? Yeah, because I don't... I don't see anything else that I'd, I care to grab. But what we want most here are just a bunch of ballistas on fastest. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so we're just gonna have as many of our ballistas in this immediate vicinity. Just chilling and slowing everything. Namely to give my obelisks as much time as possible to bring their shots to bear. Oh, we have a zombie Ogi. It just showed up. That time. Oops. I haven't set to slowest. That's not helpful. There we go. Holy shit, those things are slow. Alright, so they're barely touching zombie Oogie here. Let's see how obelisks torch him. Melt for me! Melt! Wow. Bye. It didn't feel like giving me a whole lot of treasure, though, which is a bit of a downside, but whatever. Uh, I mean, no, I should probably get this. Uh, let's see, more burn damage, more damage to armor. Do I get the Tesla coil? Um, yes. I will get the Tesla coil. Demolish the central one, put a Tesla coil here, and we are going to make this thing nutty. We just give it a lot of health. Okay, there we go. That should be better. Uh, bam. Okay, hey, and you know what we also have? We already have... The university spot, which is sufficiently big. Campments are nice for things that slip past. Eh.
My goal is to let nothing slip past. I do not look back. I only look forward. I'm gonna kill everything that's there. The definition of a man with a tower shield and no backplate. Stab me in the tuchus, I dare you. If you can find it. Probably get more beams down at some point. We should probably also level this thing up so it's five percent across the board. Yeah. There we go. Uh, let's just gain range, which is actually really helpful. Bleed, burn, tracers. I don't know. Actually, I don't know which ones of these are useful. I guess I'm gonna go for tracers. I haven't actually even built my radar yet because it doesn't seem particularly useful to me. Okay. I'll just let those go for the time being. I forgot to mention the art on your Pokemon Legends series on YouTube is super cool. Yeah! Jill did a really good, really good job with that one. I'm proud of her. Okay. Honestly, having a couple of these on progress might not be the worst idea. Maybe. What I should probably do is actually get some more obelisks. Or some biplanes. So why not have specialty universities? Because I have no idea which is better. Speaking of, how are you liking the new Pokemon? Personally, I think it's the best, since, uh, best thing since sliced bread. It is, I cannot wait for Pokemon Legends 2, whatever that's going to be. If they make it, and I sincerely hope that they do. Because the current one is good, but I can see a better game lurking inside of it, and that's my that's my thing. There we go. That's what I was looking for. I'm just get a radar, put it up there. Oh, how much better than Sword and Shield? Um, yes and no. I think it's still going to remain a fairly polarizing uh, product for a lot of people. Because the world is ass. Uh, like... Imagine if Skyward Sword was ugly. Uh, that's kind of where... Um, that's kind of where I, I sit as far as, like, Legends Arceus goes. Like, they really did just do a... A terrain generator and just said like, ah, eh, that's good enough. And like, it's not. Okay, so we need some shield. I, I think we need to just level this. Um, let's see. But they did just like a basic terrain map. Uh, is it a geo mesh? Is what it's called. Um, and then they just slapped a bunch of copy and pasted kind of ugly trees that like. Objectively, the shaders and stuff on them make them look kind of nice. Um, wow. Even at 875 damage, this thing... Eh, no, actually does a decent amount of damage to shields. Alright, that's good. But slapped a grass texture and some trees on it and called it a day? Pretty much. Yeah, the... <laughs> the environments look uh, two gens old. Yeah, I... When Xenoblade Chronicles 1 has more interesting environments to explore, uh, you should probably, probably rethink things a little bit. Uh, but like the characters in the Pokemon look great, and like if they can address so many of the like just kind of basic, holy shit, this is terrible quality, uh, moments of it, they'd have something special on their hands. Like I, I've said this for a while now, but I honestly think, uh, Nintendo should just. Let Game Freak maybe make the game or come up with the ideas, but then let Monolith Monolith Soft actually make the game. Because I know Nintendo owns Monolith at this point. Like, they totally could just bring that studio to bear in such a... such an incredible way. 
if they wanted to. And I feel like the Pokemon games would be the best place to do it. Because they're the ones that need the most amount of help. It's kind of funny seeing Pokemon that are more than 10 feet away animated 2, feet, two FPS. Have you noticed, like, how the flowers freak the hell out the moment you do anything? Again, it is not fun to look at, but it is so satisfying to just run around the world exploring and trying to find, like, new Pokemon and, uh, lurking in bushes, capturing as many of them as possible. Like, it's really satisfying. What are my universities doing? Jack shit. Okay, radars get extra. I'd like it if, uh, do my radars have bleed? No, they have poison. Because giving them eviscerate wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm going to get this in the hope of getting something with a bleed at some point. Yeah, running through a field slamming Pokeballs into the heads of unsuspecting Pokemon is the best feeling. I caught like 20 Bidoofs in the first hour and it was just so good. And it's like, it's, it's absolutely one of those games. What? Oh, it's absolutely one of those games that like you, uh, if you put it, uh, put in some time to it, like it really shows like what it can do. But I, I stand by the statement of like, but I know there's a better game lurking in its depths and that all it would take is some many years of refinement for Game Freak, but I mean, if they pull it off, then ooh. Wow, yeah, my universities are doing nothing. I do believe that Game Freak is just getting tired of making Pokemon games. I can sympathize with that. The big issue with that is just that at that point they need to hand the IP off to somebody else with a Nintendo and just have whoever is pop um, Whoever is pa still passionate about it, you know, remains on the team or something. I, I don't know. I I don't know how what to say on this one. The other issue is yearly releases, because I know specifically that uh, the, we've been getting one to two Pokemon games a year for a while now. And that's, like, not great. I realize it's probably wor way more worth it for them to do so, because every Pokemon fan pretty much just buys every Pokemon game regardless of whether or not they're actually good. But... Uh, let's grab this. I'm going to invest in my universities regardless of whether or not it's worthwhile. But either way, I'm going to be disappointed if they decide to ditch the, uh... ditch the core concepts that they've developed here. I had kind of the same feeling, feeling about uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu, because that... That also felt like a really nice step in the right direction. Obviously, it wasn't actually, like, that much new, but it felt kind of fresh in comparison. And then they just never made another Let's Go game, and I'm like, oh, but that was actually really fun. Like, I wish they had done Pokemon Let's Go Diamond. Instead of, you know, the most recent remake and remaster. Okay, how's this doing? Reasonably well. Oh, you know what I should do? I didn't even think about this. But I... I have a second contingent that is firing fairly actively here. What I should probably do is have a lookout that specifically specializes in boosting all of the, um... Let's see, boosting all of my ballistas here. Uh, let's see, I'll just do extra damage to armor. Sure. I really want to make it so that they make enemies bleed, or poison, but whatever. Okay, you go here, get the next level of university, and then we pretty much start ignoring that. Because I think we need to get some more radars down. I'm not really utilizing them that well. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, let's just get it so it does gobs of damage. Alright, how we doing? It's really wave 40 where everything gets like hella bad. Seems to be mostly fine. I could maybe use another obelisk. Level of these. 13. I'm probably just going to invest in the radars for a bit. Because I feel like they wouldn't be a bad idea for just shredding the robots before they get anywhere. If only I could make them burn enemies. And I can. It just hasn't been particularly forthcoming. Okay. There's armor. Uh, like, I guess, but nah. I only have one. Oh, there's another one. And my universities have been... Decidedly lackluster so far. But I'm going to keep investing in them like a wild man. Because it either they're going to or they're not. I don't know. Oh. Any of these that are uh, less than 7% can be upgraded further. So it's probably all of these. Because they're cheap enough. Okay, one more. There we go. How's our mana doing? Mostly fine. How's this doing? Best thing in the new Pokemon, in my opinion, is the Pokedex. Not just catch it and done, but quest with every Pokemon, kind of. I do wish some of them were a little easier. Uh, I find the catch 25 of every single Pokemon to be a little, a little rough. Not for the reason you think. I wish uh, that specifically... Uh, the box let you sort. Because one of the biggest problems that I have with the, the current uh, Legends Arceus is that it gives you hundreds of Pokemon. And, like, I've never filled up this many boxes in my life in a Pokemon game. And there's no way I can sort them by breed or level or anything like that. You don't actually need to. You only need to complete 10 for each task. Oh, I'm well aware of that. I'm not letting that stop me. Let's actually grab the broadhead bolts. That gives me a chance for fastest. But yeah, there, there's something very zen about catching, you know, just hundreds of Pokemon. But I just really wish I could, um... Yeah, there's sadly a perfect research bonus for all tasks, so you know. Well, is it for all tasks, or is it uh, just for hunt... Um, getting maximum research level. Because I thought it was just maximum research level. I clearly need to play some Pokemon so we can talk about this, so I'm not just playing about, uh, talking about Pokemon while I'm playing this game. But at the same time, whatever. Uh, let's keep focusing these on just shields and health. I think after this or maybe not after this next time we get a run that is a one really long straight away i will i will do i will try and do the level 100 tower challenge because i don't think i'm going to be able to get it on this one just because it's not well i mean this thing's level 43 i could maybe push for it ah yeah, screw it let's do it Okay, Research 10 gives a bonus and counts as completed. Doing all tasks counts as perfect and gives a shiny chance bonus for this specific monster. Ah! I was wondering about that. Though, I don't know. So far, the only shiny I've gotten is a uh, shiny Wurmple. Which, like, actually kind of cute. Beautifly is not terrible. I think, actually, it's probably my favorite of the uh, the butterfly adjacent, or butterfree adjacent ones. Do I want to get that, or do I want to give them the bird? B bird. Burn. 
Or do I want to give them wounding? Let's give them wounding. The burn would be nice. There we go. I'm gonna put banks uh banks next to this. That would have been silly. Okay, so this does get a little expensive. Okay, these all up to level 8? No. There we go. I just want to max these out. I guess I'm maxing them out a little too hard, but it's fine. Okay. Are we just straight up just going to have me play Pokemon at... Uh, after I'm bored of Rogue Tower tonight, just so we can have more of these conversations. I mean, I guess I could. I'll definitely be, like, the not-for-YouTube stuff, just me catching stuff. Maybe I could. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I'm a Pokemon addict. I I am surprised. Like, I, I played the most recent uh, Pokemon Diamonds kind of HD remake, and it was nice, but except for the cave thing, I just didn't care. And this time around, I'm just like, I care deeply about this Pokemon game. In a way that I've never, uh... I, I haven't been as passionate about before. So what's with the planes? Planes? All blisters do bleed damage. That's what I'm looking for. That gets me more of a crit chance. Uh, speaking of, more planes. Where is... What is high? Here we go. Okay, most armor. Least shield. Most health. And we also have some treasure chests off of this. Oh. Whoops. Okay, it's fine. There you go. I'm gonna just keep expanding up there for some reason. Let's see. Do we get another radar? Yes. More radar. Okay. Sent you to armor. And I mean it. The radars actually level up pretty nicely. And they get up to like level 9 or 10. And probably remain pretty damn strong. But yeah, giving giving the radars the uh the bleed and the poison, if I can also give them burn, that makes it so they don't run out of uh or they can't repair. It's actually one of the biggest issues. Well, we're up to level 50 on a tower. It's going to be tough. We've got nine waves to make who knows how much money. Well, it'll probably be worth it. Okay. And here's these kind of weird Cthulhu dudes. Mind flares? Mind flares. Well, they seem to be shredding. And the research is not, it's not great so far, but it's not bad. Uh, oh. Tesla coils, oh, no, 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 no. Crits deal 10% of the target's current bleed is extra bleed damage. That's what we need. Reason why we want that is now the more bleed I stack on things, the more just overall damage we're going to be able to do. Because that's like a thousand. So that means every crit should do an extra 150 damage to that sucker. We just need to actually get the crit perk. I am really impressed with how effective the, uh, the obelisk wall has worked. Or money gen? I don't know if we need it. I guess I probably should have grabbed the, uh, the grave money now that I'm thinking about it. It might make it.
Okay, I'm just gonna invest hard into this thing's shield damage. I was not impressed with grave money. I mean, it's worth it for a single upgrade, but it's not huge amounts. Okay, still haven't made it to wave 40, which is when everything gets bad. All towers gain... Well, those are great. I'd like that, but all towers gain 5% crit chance. It's necessary. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of armored enemies, but shields are the ones that I'm most scared of. Yeah, I might actually be able to get the level 100 uh, Tesla. Have the universities proc extra damage? Yeah, so five extra health damage, four extra armor damage, and seven um, shield damage. I I think universities are just universally worthwhile, especially if I'm going for like this amount of damage from ballistas and whatnot. There's just so many. Okay. That one made it past. So I think what we might want is another obelisk, actually. Uh, let's see. Wow. That's base damage is solid. Okay. Chris deal an additional 10% of target's current bleed. Or, no, research bla breakthrough. A sanguinate level 2 would be great, but we need the crit, crit chance. There we go. I should probably also invest a little bit harder into shield damage on these. Uh, six waves le left for decent amount of levels. I don't know. We'll see. I might make it. And the thing is, the further you get, the more money you make. So hopefully it'll be fine. The two times crit per level, uh, crit per level card would be great right now. I haven't seen it go by. I'm actually quite impressed. But our pool is very full. And yeah, it seems like armored enemies have kind of dropped off in terms of threats. At least for the moment. Let me see. I'm losing my voice a little bit. I need to go get some water after this run. Oh, whoosh. what are we doing? Who's even left? Just a couple of these guys. Biplanes do poison damage, burn damage. None of these. I almost kind of wish there was a reload. Or a reroll. <clears throat> hmm. I mean, I might as well give them incendiary bullets. That way they do all three status effects. The portal. I do love these, like, fortifications. I just don't know what I'd ever put on them. Uh, do we want to get a second obelisk? No, 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 no. We want to get this sucker up to level... 100. Because it's probably actually going to be what, what makes this the easiest. That and possibly some more ballistas. Holy moly. Uh...
Otherwise, I die right now. Yup. Damn. Level 40 is no joke. So the obelisks definitely were worth it on a per damage basis. The radar, not so much so, but I didn't invest a whole lot in them, but they were kind of expensive. Tesla coil, not as much either. But then again, part of it is I wasn't investing a whole lot of money into the obelisk, so wasn't as good. Yeah, the beholders are just brutal. I think I needed a second, uh... Yeah, another obelisk near the fortress might have been good. Just a, you know, just a couple here. But still, 